What's up, world? This is Omar Hosea. The real. The real coming at you. Let's say hello. Greetings, happy Sabbath. Turn this camera off real quick. There you go. Wanted to share something with y'all, something that came to me a couple of days ago. Called this pagan, uh... Nogra. It looks like this. And so I'll turn it this way. You get a better perspective. Right side up. Star is up, but for the sake of conversation, the star is right side down. Like the skull of Bem of Mephet, Illuminati, Satan Satanists, who will use these stars. Upside down. Nimrod, Osiris, Greeks, Romans, America. And so that's, it just, it just, it just came to me just like that at first. You know, I was just thinking about stars and like how Lucifer had, was a fallen star. And so, uh, star shines and it gives illumination, radiance. And so by it falling, it becomes something false. Or impure, degenerative, and so if I fail from perfection, then I am degenerate. Like my skin coat, my skin, my skin tone. Uh, black is the generation of color, and white is the generation of the absence of that degenerate substance. So even black is the is the generation, but white is the absence. Of the color of the during of that generation, and so whether it's black or white, you still have a disease. One of the generation, and one of the essence or the results of that which is being degenerated. Um. But all but today, these past couple of days, you know, we've been thinking, doing a lot of research and studying about all these gods. In the Bible, in, Gen in Deuteronomy, it says, Thou shalt not bow down to any other gods but me. And so here I have this. It's called the Fallen Star Chart. And as you see, folks, that goes like this. And you see the Catholic cross signia in the middle. And so the Jew, the sixth one, the star, has gone through the seventh middle, which is the Catholic church, to create a sun god called Jesus, called the Trinity. If you notice the three circles in the middle, the Jew, the center, and the America, that would be the Holy Trinity of the, of the damned. And so we have gone to even more further lengths of trying to draw uh, some other schematics to make sense. You know, to me first. You know, because I can't share with you if it don't make sense to me. You know, and so this is the church that sits on seven hills at the bottom. You know, when you turn the star upside down. You know, see a lot of attempts I tried to make it. Upside down, I couldn't. But I did manage to make it happen, though. You know. And so I need you, you know, your thoughts on that. So as a go, Nimrod is the god of Babylon. He is the son of Ham. From Nimrod was the birth of Osiris. He's the god of Egypt called Bondage. Zeus is the god of the Greeks who went to Egypt called Socrates who taught Plato about Osiris and his gods in Egypt and how to the arts of bondage and where they got their information from Nimrod on the dark arts of steel and war 
And so now you go over here to uh, Romans, Rome, their God is Jupiter. See, their God is Jupiter. And so when they go over to Greece, they find out about Zeus. And so now you get Roman numerals and Greek letters and books. And then you have Greek philosophy and Roman law. And so they get their, Rome get their information from Greek. Greek got this from Egypt. Egypt got this from Babylon. And the gods of these four is Nimrod, Osiris, Zeus, and Jupiter. Then you come to America. She really has no gods. And the Jews, they really have no god either. These two don't have a god. But America calls on this name Jesus. But you know, Jesus got the same name as Zeus. Because the Romans, Constantine, started Christianity. So you see how that triangle or that trinity comes about. The Holy Trinity. Zeus, Jupiter, and Jesus. So you put Jupiter and Zeus together, you get Jesus. You see that? And then you put Osiris and Nimrod together, and you get the sun disk. Or the spirit of Satan. Because Judah, the Jews, excuse my tongue for all the Jews, brings the half truth of Satan that's been handed down to, to the ancients called Enoch. Because they had a taste of it. And they turned their hearts. But then, like I said, in the Bible, it tells you about this fallen star. It tells you about these false gods. It tells you that the Yahshua tells you that there's going to be another one that will come in his name. And that this Jesus will be the Antichrist. Jesus is the Antichrist, not Yahshua. Because in Constantine, they changed the name from Yahshua to Jesus. So that's the Antichrist. And so he would rise up and rule the world. So now they want everybody to worship Jesus or Jupiter and Zeus. Look at it. See? You take the J and Jupe and the Zoo and Zeus and you get Jesus. See? And then you take the obelisk and the unk and you have Osiris and Babylonia. So you could wrap, so the story will go like this. The spell of bondage becomes God through the cosmos. And the church found that out. And so they are the center or the heart that sits on these seven points or these seven hills of knowledge. And where they say that the Luciferians or the Cardinals or the church fathers decide to play father when there's only but one father and that's the most high. But till next time, folks, this is Omar Jose coming back at you through real, you know, sharing some more enlightenments with you guys that, um, Creator is good to all of us. Peace. Keep it solid. One.